Nagaland, one of the most beautiful mountainous states of northeast India, with rich cultural and natural diversity. It embraces in it a vast dimension of people from different ethnic background like Angami, Ao, Chekisang, Chang, Kachari, etc., among which more than 70% people live in rural areas, relishing life with Mother Nature in its purest form. Nagaland has always been an agricultural country. Even though the new generation has adapted itself to walk with the world, the importance of agriculture has never diminished in Nagaland. In the rural areas, most of the Naga people make their living from cultivation and animal husbandry. It is clearly evident that Mithun farming is one of the vital animal husbandry Naga people love to go with. There lies few certain reasons for that. Among all kinds of livestock, Mithun farming is accelerating the socio-economic status of the state in quite a pace. Mithun Research Center Medsifema is the only research center in the world which started in 1988. The state has National Research Center for Mithun NRCM, where they put 100% effort for better results in some organized farms. With its inception, it is very encouraging to know that Mithun population is increasing as may be seen during 2007-2012. 12.98% and 2012-2019 to 2019 was 30% increased. Mithun ICR National Research Centre on Mithun was established in the year 1988 and it was established in the village Porva of Fuek district of Nagaland. And then later on it was shifted to the Mezifema of Dimapur district and since then we are working on this beautiful auspicious species called Mithun. Uh, since inception, more than three decades have passed and we have achieved significantly uh, not only in terms of scientifically but also uh, to raise the livelihood and income generation of the farmers of this region. We have generated a large amount of the data in the form of uh, published papers, in the form of books, in the form of manuals, technical bulletin, etc. for the farmers and at the same times we also introduced a new method of uh, rearing of Mithun called semi-intensive Mithun rearing system. ICAR NRC on Mithun has been playing key roles in the conservation, breeding and health management of this magnificent species. The scientists of this institute in the past years have generated significant scientific information and developed many farmers, friendly technologies and a package of practices for making Mithun husbandry a sustainable commercial venture. As it is mentioned early, Mithun rearing has been extending a good contribution towards the state economy. Its prime utility is in the form of meat. For its high demand, Mithun's meat selling business is blooming day by day which provides a healthy financial support to the Mithun farmers. Mithun is a massive semi-domesticated rare ruminant species, mainly reared for meat. In Nagaland, Mithun meat is considered to be more tender and superior over the meat of any other species. The ownership of Mithun is considered to be the sign of prosperity and superiority of an individual in the society. ICAR Nagalan has been conducting meetings and workshops for the farmers from time to time so that the farmers continue to get the benefit of new technologies with the changing times and they get the help of experts in Mithun rearing. So regarding hay making, I would like to say that a lot of forests are available during the season, but we cannot preserve this material during rainy season. 
Workshops are organized from time to time in ICMH FMA to inform the farmers about the benefits and techniques related to methun rearing. In these workshops, the process of explaining the farmers in detail is done by scientists and experts. In this regard, I can say because polyols inside temperature is always higher than outside and it protects from uh, rain also. Methun is traditionally being reared in the forest under free range system, the forest based system. And in this system, there are certain limitations because we, the farmers, cannot contact Mithun since uh, several days for months. And occasionally, they come close to Mithun when they offer salt to the Mithun. And at the same time, no health care intervention is applicable, no medication, no reproductive augmentation, and no nutritional intervention is possible under free range system. So, ICR and RC Mithun has developed an alternate system of rearing of Mithun. It is called semi-intensive Mithun rearing. Under this system, we are advocating the farmers that you keep the Mithun in the forest, but you fence the area, fence the boundary of the Mithun rearing so that the Mithun could not go outside into the agricultural fields. And once, the, once we do the fencing, then all the methods are there inside the fencing and we do all the intervention like reproductive management, health care management, nutritional intervention and identification of methun and more importantly we can save the calves from the mortality because the major mortality is in methun is due to wild predators attack on the calves and when we adopt the semi intensive system of rearing this mortality can be checked. Artificial insemination, AI technique in Mithun has been standardized and implemented successfully both in farm and field condition at NRC Mithun Nagalan. Artificial insemination technique in Mithun has been standardized and implemented successfully both in farm and field condition at NRC Mithun Nagaland. First, Mithun calf under field condition was born in 6 May 2010 using a standardized AI technique at Mithun rearing area of Konama village in Kohima district of Nagalin. For AI, we require to have a standardized method of collection of semen and its preservation. The institute has been successfully standardized the collection procedure of semen with an innovative way of spraying urine of estrous females on the dummy cow for attracting the bulls. Moreover, the method of preservation of semen has also been standardized. Two methun cows were synchronized into oysters by using the protocol developed at the institute. Cryopreserved semen was used for insemination. Artificial insemination technique is not a new technique. It is uh, being used in the cattle, buffaloes, and other livestock species since 1950s onwards. And but for Mithun, this is new. Artificial insemination is a very important tool for genetic improvement. In this technology, what we do, we collect the semen in our farm from the best bull, superior bull, and we process it in the laboratory then we can preserve it. Now we have the technology of preservation of methun semen uh, due to which we can preserve the semen by 10 years, 15 years, up to 20 years in the at minus 196 degree centigrade. Biggest advantage of artificial insemination is we can use uh, the genetic superior genetic bull to the wider extent possible. And another advantage is the transportation. Since the straws are very small, it, if it kept in the liquid nitrogen container, it can be transported to the very remote location, inaccessible location where the live animal cannot be taken. Number three advantage is risk of disease transmission through natural mating is prevented by artificial insemination. We are also started artificial insemination under field condition and we have already inseminated many methun cows in the field then they are pregnant and uh, many of them have delivered the successfully delivered the calves <laughs> the 
the secondary utility is undoubtedly the milk. In comparison to cow milk, Mithun has the double amount of fat in its milk, which ensures a good quality of milk product. Dahi, sweets, or any other kind of Mithun milk based products has captured a good hold in the market. From M Mithun, from M Meat, from M Milk, from M Money, and from M Marriage. And because of this, farmers in ICAR Nagalan have been playing a big role in making this slogan meaningful. Presently, this animal is mainly reared for meat, which is considered to be more tender and superior over the meat of any other species. Mithun milk, though produced less in quantity, is of high quality and can be used for preparation of various milk products. This is Mithun milk. It is said that it is having a rich content of fats and proteins, meaning to say that it is better than other milk. And I'm getting the first time privilege to take this Mithun milk. The taste is also it's so good. Leather obtained from this species has been found to be superior to cattle. What I am holding in my hand is a crude leather of a Mithun after partial processing where we can see a leather which is having hairs, the hairs has been not removed, so it appears in a crude form. Once the, the leather is processed, this is the final form of a leather. The tensile strength of the leather of Mithun is great and it is pliable and the round or the bodiness is more in the case of Mithun. So we can convert this leather into a beneficial products as we can, as, as we are seeing here. So uh, these are uh, our products which are produced in the, uh, from the Mithun leather by our institute in collaboration with the uh, Leather Institute of Kolkata. We can see a bag which is finally formed from the Mithun leather. We can see the, how nicely it is formed with a good uh, polishing structure compared to that of uh, bovine. Uh, I mean the bull or the other cattle species or it can be converted into other forms of a bag such as a lady's handbag and it can be given a good dye or the color so it can turn into a, a good bag compared to that of other leather. The state is providing courses to the farmers to make leather products like belt, shoes etc. by their own so that they can attain maximum benefit out of it. The library is one of the most important central facilities of the institute. It has a collection of books covering a wide area of subjects dealing with animal genetics and breeding. Animal nutrition, animal physiology, livestock production and management, animal health, molecular biology and elite areas. The library is also subscribing to a number of national and international journals. The library is also a vast reservoir of animal reports, newsletters, research highlights and other special publications received from ICAR institutes, SAUS and other organizations under the exchange program. The Mithun in the institute farm are reared under semi-intensive as well as intensive systems. Three hectares of farmland are under fodder cultivation where Congo signal, hybrid napier, maize and some fodder trees are grown. Identification, nutrition evaluation and preservation of locally available feeds and fodders and determination of nutrient requirements and feed efficiency of Mithun are the central areas of research. The mandate of our laboratory is to analyze different types of uh, fodders uh, which is available uh, in this region to analyze it in terms of their protein content, uh, fiber content, energy, 
uh, anti-nutritional factors. Actually, we have analyzed about more than uh, 250 uh, different types of uh, free uh, fodder available in this region, which is consumed by methane. See, we used to identify those uh, plants. Uh, then uh, uh, we used to preserve those for identification also. And simultaneously, uh, another aspect we used to cover is that uh, due to heavy rainfall uh, in this region, what happens? Uh, different types of minerals which is present there uh, in this region uh, uh, in soil that is washed away, that is uh, leached out. And uh, accordingly, what happens? Uh, minerals are deficient, uh, different types of essential minerals, micro and uh, macro minerals are essential. So, accordingly, what happened? Uh, we analyzed uh, different types of feeds and folders uh, available in this region and uh, uh, the minerals available in the uh, animals also, inside animal also, we just uh, checked and uh, observed that uh, different types of minerals, uh, macro and micro as well as macro uh, minerals are deficient. So accordingly, we prepared area specific mineral mixture for this region. So let us see, these are the mineral mixtures, uh, packets, uh, we, we uh, prepared this, that one and uh, it can be offered just traditionally keeping on, uh, on the palm or uh, uh, in the field condition on the boulders also we can use this one. Bearing a few, most of the forages that we analysed for the nutrient contents can serve as good sources of protein and energy for methane and contain phenolic compounds within the limit. The studies on growth rate and feed efficiency are in progress. Recently, much emphasis is being given to preserving the feeds and folders as well as to exploiting the locally available agro-industrial by-products like spent grain from breweries industries and wet cake and dried distillery grains and soluble in the form of feed blocks. This will help in feeding methun during the scarcity period and economization of methane rearing systems, especially the intensive and semi-intensive rearing. Traditionally, methane is reared under free range forest ecosystem. This production system is also very good because the production cost is very, very less. So the benefit uh, for, to the farmers is very high. But under this production system, methane is also under certain threats, like from the predators, from the uh, uh, viral and bacterial diseases, and also you know the mortality rate uh, among the uh, calves also is very high. So we are we thought that uh, there should be one alternative for this uh, forest uh, production system. So we could bring few methanes to this place that uh, we may be able to do something better than the, which can you know uh, be alternative for a free range of, uh, uh, system so now mithun is under semi intensive rearing system under this system mithun uh, growth rate is more uh, you know better is better than the other uh, over free range system the calf mortality rate has been reduced With the care of Methun, attention is also paid to the cleanliness of the place of Methun's care in NRCM Nagalan. That is why from time to time, picking up Methun's tongue from the place and dumping them properly and washing the place is also an important routine for the workers of NRCM. ICAR NRC on Methun Metsifema began the fortnight long program of Swachata Pakwara from December 16 to the 31st at its premises with the participation of all the staff members. Mahatma Gandhi ne Mahatma Gandhi ne is Bharat ka sapna dekha tha usme sirf an update from ICAR NRC on Methun stated that the program started with the reading of Swachata pledge by the participants in unison led by the director in charge ki mai swayam satchata ki prati satchata ki prati sajag rahunga sajag rahunga
Mithun can not only be used for meat, milk and skins, but now farmers have started using them as agriculture and vehicle as well. Many new initiatives have been taken by the institute in the recent years. Uh, first is the registration of Mithun as a food animal. Because Mithun we consume in the northeastern region, we rear the Mithun, we consume the Mithun meat, but Mithun is still not registered with FSSI as a food animal. So if we want to export the Mithun meat outside the northeast, then it is difficult for us. So we have taken up this issue and we have written a request to FSSI with all the documentary proof that you kindly register Mithun, certify Mithun as a food animal and it is under the process with FSSI and I hope that uh, very soon it will be registered as a food animal. Once it is registered as a food animal, then we can sell our Mithun to outside northeastern state. We can export Mithun products to other states, even to other countries also. So it will be an additional source of income to the farmers and it will be a boost to Mithun husbandry program. As you know, in the northeastern region as a whole, uh, we are not using any pesticides, any chemical, any insecticide uh, for rearing of Mithun. So by default, Mithun is a, uh, organically produced. Uh, only thing is that we need to certify it by a certain agencies. We have all the schemes for commercial Mithun production, any farmer who are interested to any farmer or a group of the farmer or any Mithun society who are interested to rear the Mithun under the commercial system, we are ready to help them. We have all the technical support. Our team will provide all the technical support. Please contact us and we will help you. Be it the macro farming like Mithun, Nagalin is day by day marching towards a better future with economic independence and self-sustainability. <laughs> One must say, what a way to shape up the present and the future, keeping the mother nature as pure as it is. Yeah.